happy to have you with us this evening and want you to enjoy every minute of your stay here. Hey everybody, it's Mayor Bill Wilde. I'm joined here by our new Parks and Rec Director, Kyle Mulligan. We're standing outside of uh, you know, Tadden Park and uh, we're about to kick off this year's 2019 Splash Bash. And uh, Kyle, boy, it seems like you've uh, really outdone yourself this year. What a turnout. We're just getting started. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Uh, Splash Pad is open for all there for free there until 8 o'clock today. Uh, we've got some free hot dogs, chips, pop, and water as well. So uh, still got plenty of time to get down here. We're also showing a movie this evening as well. Movie, outdoor movie night. You got to like those. What's our movie this year? It's uh, Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet. <laughs> all right, well, we like that. So, um, you know, this is a great event. We've been doing it now for several years. You know, in the past, we've kind of done this event to kick off the summer. And this year we're kind of doing it to wind down the summer, but I don't know about you, me and all these other people here, we're hoping that summer's not over yet. Yeah, you know, we know school starts next week, but we wanted to make sure that we had a community gathering, make sure everybody can kick it off and have a you know good end of the summer. So, you know, we're looking forward to it. You know, Cal, this is a great partnership with Park It, and they're the folks that do the uh, outdoor movie night. So Park It has uh, some of their uh, vendors here with them. What can people expect to see? Yeah, so we've got some uh, some vendors over there um, closer to the screen. Uh, Detroit Zoo's here. Um, you know, uh, the uh, Park It's got their own vendor booth. Uh, Farmers Bureau's insurance as well. So lots of cool vendorships. So we've also got our initiative booths over here as well uh, with a lot of organizational stuff that we got going on in the city. All right, well, there's lots to do here. It's all family-oriented and it's off for free. So I can see uh, the staff over there cooking those hot dogs as we speak. So with that, Kyle, I said, why, why don't we uh, go for a walk around and uh, talk to some of the people here and uh, maybe we can get inside the uh, fire truck smoke trailer too. Yeah, sounds good to me. Let's do it. Hi, my name is Zaina West and I'm here at Splash Bash having a really good time. There's free food, chips, pop. They have a free movie playing. My kids are having fun and everything. They have so much stuff going on. They're having, my kids are having fun. I'm having fun. I brought my puppy. It's an amazing environment and I'm happy to be here today. Hey, so here we are at Splash Bash and I'm here with a couple of splashers. One of them who has been in that splash park, I don't even know how many times. This is my grandson, Richard. Say hi. 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 And my son, Rick. Hello. And we're out here just having a blast today. You know, you couldn't ask for a better day. Lots of family, lots of friends, lots of residents and a lot of good stuff that the city of Westland is hosting today. Hello, I'm Shana. And I'm Sue Leonard, the distinguished young woman of Wayne Westland. And today, we're at the annual Splash Bash. And we're gonna go ask some people and see what they think. Hi, we're out here um, from the Department of Public Service out at the movie night in Westland. And we're promoting um, a lot of the activities that we do out of the department. The Neighborhood Makeover Program, which does um, the city has been divided up into 50 areas that we are going through each individual area, um, going through cleaning catch basins, trimming trees, checking roads, checking sanitaries. We're also promoting um, our drinking water, our storm water, um, healthy habits for the Rouge. Yeah, and if there's any questions um, involving the Department of Public Service, feel free to give us a call over at the city or go right to the web and it'll shoot an email right to our department and we'll figure out uh, what uh, what to do. So I'm here with DJ, Ava, and their mom. So what is your favorite part about the Splash Bash? Well, the kids get to have fun and just enjoy it for the summertime. Ava, what's, what's your favorite thing about the Splash Bash? I don't know. The water? Uh-huh. Yeah, you like to get wet in the summertime? Yes. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Hi, I'm Gretchen Heineke, president of the Westland Chamber of Commerce. We're here today at this beautiful event representing the chamber. We deal with local businesses, supporting businesses, and growing businesses. And we are also talking about the Farmer's Market, which is held at Central City Park every Thursday between 3 and 7 p.m. So come on out and see us. We close on October 10th, but definitely come back next year if you can't make it this year. Hello, I'm with Kira and her mother and father, and today I will be asking you about the Splash Bash. Well, I think the Splash Bash is lots of fun. It's great to get out and see all your neighbors, catch up with people you haven't seen in a while, reconnect with your community. Ditto, it's fun. Nice time to spend with the family. So, we enjoy it. 
I, I, what I like about it is that I get to play with all my friends and have fun in water. Hi, I'm Joanne Campbell, Director of Housing and Community Development for the City of Westland. Uh, we're here today to share with you all the great programs that are going on at the Jefferson Barnes Community Vitality Center. And um, I'm joined with Paul Motts. Hi, Paul. How are you? Why don't you tell uh, folks? Hi there. I'm doing great, Joanne. Thank you. And why don't you tell folks a little bit about the youth assistance programs? Okay. So uh, some of the programs that we uh, are fortunate enough to have located at Jefferson Barnes are uh, our tutoring program that's going to be every Wednesday when school is in session starting September 11th. Uh, the end of uh, September we'll have our Strengthening Families program and this is a, a, a great family seven week program, two and a half hours uh, every Monday evening. Um, Families get closer to, together, have better communication, feel more supported. And then for some of our older kids, uh, usually about once a month, and you can contact the Youth Assistance Office about this, is for our Be Proud, Be Responsible workshops that we hold. Thank you, Joanne. And Paul, if people want more information about the Youth Assistance Programs, what's the best way to contact you? Well, they can contact us uh, various ways through our uh, cityofwestland.com. Uh, Westland Youth Assistance, and also by phone for folks who still use phones, 734-467-7904. Awesome. Thanks, Paul. And I'm also joined with Jan Minch from the Norwayne Boxing Gym. Jan, why don't you tell us a little bit about the great program at Norwayne Boxing? Thanks a lot, Joanne. Appreciate that. Hi, everyone. I'm Executive Director of Norwayne Boxing Gym Youth Development Program. We're here to serve children ages 8 to about 21, uh, mostly on their academics, their athletics, their community involvement and leadership. And we're here to just hope to make sure every child graduates from high school and can follow a dream and do something that they're hoping to do in life. And we have incredible support from the city and we are just hoping that the program continues to grow. So thanks a lot, Joanne. Yep, and Jan, how can people get more information about the Norway Boxing Gym? So we're kind of just like Paul. You can come see us at norwayboxinggym.org. You can reach out to me. Um, my number is 248-982-5367 or email jan at norwayboxinggym.org. And the reason that we're so successful with our programs at Jefferson Barnes Community Center is because we have such great, amazing partners. Uh, not just uh, youth assistance in the boxing gym, we've got the Jefferson Barnes Learning Lab, the Norway Community Citizens Council puts on events throughout the year. And I'm really excited to be able to tell you to mark your calendars for October 19th because we'll have our Fall Harvest Festival with pony rides and pumpkin painting and lip syncing and trick or treating. And it's like our biggest event of the year. But we have lots of other events that are ongoing. Um, the Jefferson Barnes Learning Lab will open up again on September 9th, Mondays through Thursdays from 3 until 6. The Jefferson Barnes Library is open almost every day of the week. And that's just an example of some of the great programs we have. For more information about Jefferson Barnes programs, you can call us at 734-595-0288. You can uh, follow us on Facebook, Jefferson Barnes Community Vitality Center, or the Norway Community Citizens Council. And like Paul said, you can go to the cityofwestland.com website for more information. But whatever you do, make sure you check out the programs at Jefferson Barnes. It's a great uh, asset of the city, and we're all just having great fun there uh, in the Norway community. Come on down and see what it's all about. What do you think about the Splash Bath? I think it's a great way to bring the community closer together. It's a great way to get to know um, a little bit about our city, like our police and our firefighters that do so much for our community. Um, it's a great way for the kids, for the free admission to the Splash uh, Park for them. And it's just a really fun event. I've been coming here for several years in a row now so with my siblings, so it's been a great time. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're here at Splash Bash on, uh, at Tan Park on Ford Road. And city center. Um, I'm here today showing off a couple of our new concept plans for this area, the former city hall site, um, just near the police department and just uh, south of the, the, um, the splash pad. So uh, a couple, a few months ago in the uh, fall we wrapped up s several study sessions in um, Charette's where we designed a layout over here of what uh, can go in place of where the former city hall site was and the residents came up with a plan uh, that incorporates a mixed-use development 
um, and retail fronting Ford Road and some um, senior living spaces behind that. So we've been actively marketing it. We've had received some bites from uh, local developers and some national developers and we're working with the finance team, assessing team and our economic development team to kind of flesh out some of those proposals right now. I'm also here today um, educating uh, students that are going back to school on walking and biking to school and providing some tip cards uh, about how to uh, look for traffic, um, how to cross the intersection uh, and, and things like that. So it's a beautiful day. Um, hope everyone's enjoying, enjoying the day and thank you for uh, stopping by. So Kayla, what do you think about the Splash Bash? Um, I think it's really great and seeing all the police officers and seeing the canine dog is really cool. And you were in the uh, Youth Academy, right? What did you think about that? Yeah, I actually, I did it for two years and it was actually all, so much fun. And just, I got to spend more time with the canine dog and it was, it was a good time. All right, thank you. Enjoy the Splash Bash. Hey everybody, my name is Kyle Mulligan. I'm the Parks and Recreation Director for the City of Westland. Just want to let you guys know this is our information booth here. We got all of our organizations laid out here. Uh, we're going over our golf specials, our YMCA day camp over the summer. Uh, we do hire park rangers and we've got a lot of uh, sports organizations, WYAA, Wayne Westland Soccer League. So if you're interested in playing you know, baseball, football, cheerleading or soccer, uh, make sure that you get a hold of us and we'll get you that information. Um, if you're not out here today, if you didn't make it to the Splash Bash this week, make sure you uh, check out our website. All that information there, fill out an inquiry card, shoot us an email, and we'll get a hold of you. Looking forward to having you out here. Hi, my name is Christina and I'm here at the Splash Bash here in Westland. This is an amazing community. They do a lot of nice events for us. And right now they're about to show a movie free. They had the splash pad free for all of the citizens. And free hot dogs, chips, popcorn. Um, there are so many people here having a fabulous time and I really hope that they do it again next year. Um, the community here in Westland has come together and we are really happy to have all these fabulous events here in our city. Well, hopefully you guys had a great time in our 2019 uh, Splash Bash. I know summer's kind of winding down, but hopefully you had a chance to go in the H2O zone. It's going to be open all the way through Labor Day weekend, so you're welcome to come back and have a good time. So, kids, are you guys ready to go back to school? No. <laughs> yes, us too. All right. Well, that's what we like to hear. Parents, are you glad to have the kids go back to school? Once again, you guys have a great time, and uh, let's look forward to the movie. We'll see you guys next year. And now, on with the show.